Next up we have Dublin. Do we have a do we have a change?
Here we see a map of Dublin, and over on the right hand side there you'll see the CCD clearly marked out. The CCD to the absolute dead spot centre of Dublin, O'Connell Bridge, is just about a mile. Dublin is a small and compact city. If you're not within half a mile of the convention centre, you will be closer than that to a tram stop. The CCD, the Convention Centre Dublin, has a tram stop which is 400 metres from half home to front door. This map will show, it shows you the full width of the city. The blue thing going through the middle is the River Liffey. It divides our city into a north and south side. Now, between O'Connell Bridge and the CCD, I unfortunately lost count of how many pubs there are. <laughs> And I started out with the idea of trying to do something with a video, which I then messed and lost. And I was meant to go in a straight line, and I couldn't manage that either. <laughs> Here's a photo of some of the members of the Dublin team and committee at Connor. Connor was a, a European version of a small con. It was really good. It was earlier this year in Nottingham, in England. I find it amazing to look at this photo and other photographs of the team, as over the time of the bid, all of those involved have been very crucial to it. But also, we have all developed ourselves. It is encouraged, allegedly, that people who wish to host and run a world con should get involved with other world cons, and we have surely done that. Since the start of the bid, a number of committee members have been division and deputy division heads for the first time. Many have been involved in multiple areas. Others have won hero medals at world cons for their efforts, or secretly stepped in and fixed something that no one really knew about. But I would hear back. I would receive secret compliments all the time. Everyone has sat exhausted and shattered after much effort, and all the time wearing a green shirt or green ribbon and making us all proud that they are part of this Dublin 2019 team. I defy anyone to say that we have not shed sweat and tears in the collective effort that is collectively helping other world cons. Even here right now, at a peak time for this Dublin bid, we have many of our committee and team working at Helsinki, including a division head, a deputy division head, an area head, amongst others at a variety of levels. But we are a broad team and even look forward to welcoming the deputy chair from this convention to our committee's ranks. Help and involvement has come in many forms and titles do not always demonstrate the workload involved. And the Dublin team as individuals have repeatedly stepped into the breach and given their all, making us all proud and enhancing our repertoire. Others bring their own skills and expertise. For instance, Pat Maher, who is, is pictured there, is running Dublin Pride Parade next year. Fergal, who is also uh, pictured, is at home at this moment in time, preparing to run a massive outreach event at Dublin Comic Con, where we will give away thousands of books to fans, encouraging them to learn more about world cons. And then also we see... I've lost oh, there's Dave Lally. And then we have Dave <laughs> who is a legend in his own right. So many people have made so much effort working to educate and position themselves well for the task ahead. Looking to learn and gain experience or gain insight. All to help their task on the Dublin Committee as part of their own journey, and I am very grateful for that. Here is our proposed full committee. I am sure others will join us, and many will join our team. We have had 361 people volunteer over the time of the bid, and right now about 100 of those volunteers are currently active. I hope you recognize those names. And if you don't, it's no problem. Please do not be afraid to ask any Dublin person who they are, and we will definitely speak well of them. The work is ahead of us now. The work is ahead of us now. We want to bring you a great convention, and I feel we have a fabulous team full of ideas, energy, and who will make a real weekend to remember for us all. Oh, very good. We are doing quite a bit of work still, and work will continue, and it will possibly never stop if we win the bid. <laughs> <laughs> we will announce our contract with the CCD. We are working here at WorldCon 75, and as previously mentioned, we've got a workload going on at the moment, giving away free books in Dublin. We need you. <laughs> we need you, and we need you to vote. And we need you to become full members, and then we probably need you to volunteer. <laughs> Definitely from Anna. You will find, we will find strength in numbers. The more members that join earlier, the more we can do. The more to volunteer, the more that we can accomplish. I would ask you all to consider joining us. We need you to vote. We need you to be a full member. We need you to volunteer. 
you, with your help, it will help us to be strong and successful. All right, we'll be hosting a party in Winter Garden on Thursday, that's tonight, oh yeah, that's right, and Saturday at 9 p.m., and we have our table down in the uh, exhibits hall. Please feel free to come by and join us. Remember, voting ends at 4 p.m. on Friday. Please vote. And this is the final slide. Being a bid chair has been a pleasure and has been good, so good to meet so many people who want to see Dublin win the bid. I would love to say that the task has driven me personally to whiskey, but actually it has seen me decrease how much I drink. Indeed, <laughs> indeed, I worry more about everyone else getting all types of drinks now. Being a bid chair drives you away from whiskey. This is not a great situation. <laughs> But I hope you will all join us with a drink of your choice. Doesn't need to be whiskey. It can be anything you want. Apple juice. So I don't know. For a relaxing and fun week world con in Dublin. We will have a 900 square meter bar to socialise, relax in, to chat, to meet friends. And then enjoy all that we have to offer in the Convention Centre Dublin. This committee has been non-stop. We have worked hard to get to this fortunate position. And now that there is a job ahead of us, we hope to host a really amazing world con and we hope you join us. So, uh, um, is there questions now, sir? Hold on, two questions. Well, I, well hold, we were on a call the committee up to answer the questions, is that okay? Can I call my committee up to answer the questions, please? Come on, please, committee. Come on, up. Get up. Come on, over here, come on. Come on. We've got two questions. If we have 20 people answering the two questions, we'll surely get them right. <laughs> Look at this great group of people we have here. Yeah, look at the community here. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the great people we've got. Don't yeah, worry, some backwards on our bed at night. <laughs> Head and hands. Go ahead. How many attending members are you expecting? <laughs> uh, that's a question for me, really. Uh, we're planning at the moment for around the same size as Glasgow, about 4,200 people. <laughs> the second question is related somewhat. How many attendees can your program rooms fit in at maximum? <laughs> Hold this a moment while our calculator figures out it. <laughs> Steve might not wear it. Yeah, 2,300 Steve reckons. Is that it? I brought him up for this. <laughs> Jesus, there really is a substantial question. <laughs> will you ensure that any announcements made on social media will also be on the conference's website? <laughs> Yes? Is that the right answer? Yeah? Yeah? yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Can we leave? One more question. Are there any more written questions? What are the dates? Yeah. What are the dates, Committee? Basically, at about six o'clock at night, we'll be closing about half program rooms, and they'll be switched over then to party spaces. <laughs> we should have seven um, smaller party spaces, capable of holding about 90 to 100 people, and then we have options on, on that floor for kind of larger spaces for larger parties. And cost the uh, corkage? 
Uh, there is a, the, the, there'll be no cost to actual room hire uh, because the convention will be got the kids in. There will be a corkage fee of 200 euro, probably plus VAT, um, which will allow you to bring in as much soft drink as you want to bring in and up to about 300 euro of alcohol. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's pretty bad. Oh, so, it's really 23%. Yeah, 23%. Yeah. So. Food, is, is that including 300? Uh, you can bring in snacks and things that are sealed in packets, but food itself is one of those things that convention centres get very worried about because they're worried about uh, health scares and all the rest of it. So any food will be available, but you have to get that through the convention centre, but they have a full catering ability to provide what you might want. Thank you. Okay, we're done. Thank you very much. I present to you the Committee of Dumb 2019, some of them. And thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And please remember those three important messages that I was meant to telegraph clearly. Communication is important, I'm told. Please make sure you go down and vote. Please make sure you join us and become full men, pretending members. Please volunteer. We really appreciate your time.